Hey everybody, I'm Alex Pearl, and this is Alex Smells Discordant. So today I'm going to talk to you about Fancy Nights. I'm going to give a thank you to a lady on here named Chrissy J, who'd done a review for Fancy Nights that I watched and spurred me to make this video because it had been haunting me for far too long and it's time to get this over with. So there's a link to her channel and that video right down below. Even after seeing that and getting inspired to do this video, I still had to take some time to like brace myself physically and mentally to, um, to face this fragrance again. Fancy Nights was released in 2010, it was manufactured by Parlox, and it was made for Jessica Simpson's celebrity brand. The nose behind Fancy Nights is Steve DiMarcato. Now you might know Steve DiMarcato by his work as the nose behind fragrances like Escape for Men, for Calvin Klein, uh, the self-titled Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs. He was one of two noses that worked on that scent. And he was the nose behind one of my first uh, fragrances in my collection and one of my favorites of the time, Kenneth Cole's New York Man. It's too bad that this one was reformulated and then discontinued because it was excellent. My bottle of Fancy Nights is a 3.4 ounce Eau de Parfum. And the batch code for my bottle is 10090CA1. That means that it was manufactured back in 2010, and this is the original formulation. The bottle itself is fine. It's easy enough to grip and spray for a 100ml bottle. The dark green glass and gold painted filigree at the base of the bottle are aesthetically pleasing enough, but the cheap plastic cap and the bottle top betray its inexpensive price point like dark roots. So what are the accords that I get from this scent? Right away I get greenery, I get woods, I get amber, I get flora, both white flora and rose, and I also get a little bit of sweet. Base Notes and Fragrantica list the notes as follows. They say that it has notes of papyrus, bergamot, patchouli, rose, jasmine, amber, vanilla, which is kind of funny to me because vanilla is an element of amber. Anyway, uh, sandalwood and oak moss. So what are the notes that I actually get when I smell this? So I get this sweaty patchouli. Bruh. It smells kind of human and I don't I don't really love that papyrus and in this composition it's kind of weird. I do get some of the oak moss, I do get some of the jasmine, uh, I do get some of the fantasy rose, but not a lot. It just sweetens it up a bit. You do get plenty of amber and some vanilla and you get something look, I get something that smells to to me um like geranium kind of. Uh, it reminds me of uh, the same kind of green note that's in stuff like um, like Rare Emeralds by Avon, if you know what I'm talking about. I do also get something that smells a lot like Tonka to me. That sort of dusty bubblegum, uh, sweet plasticine smell. It smells uh, in Fancy Nights a bit like a doll's head and um, oof, yeah. If you're thinking that's kind of a strange mashup of notes, well, 
It is. You are correct. It does not entirely work well together. All right, so what comes to mind when I smell fancy nights? Right away, the words confusing, uneasy, and uncomfortable come to mind. It's like my nose doesn't know what to do when it smells fancy nights. There's a lot of clashing, conflicting ideas here. What? And it seems like Steve DiMercato likes to throw in like one or two or four oddball notes into each scent that he makes, and that's great. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and here it doesn't. Here it's kind of like olfactory dry heat. Yeah. It makes me think of The Thing, like the, um, the monster from John Carpenter's The Thing, in that there are these disparate parts that are mishmashed together, and the end result is aesthetically displeasing, to say the least. Fancy Nights makes me think of the word artificial. Each of the elements seem distinctly faux. I think of the words sharp, dry, and harsh because the opening here is as sharp and aggressive as a bear trap. And I gotta say it, I, I have a personal distaste for the word fancy. Fancy. I just don't like the word. Fancy is such a weak descriptor. Fancy, like, oh, fancy ketchup. Oh, like this fancy foam. Fancy. It's like the descriptor that people who don't have a um, solid vocabulary like to use. Fancy. I'm sorry, I just really don't like the word fancy. Moving right along, how about some ratings? So as far as scent goes, I'm going to give Fancy Nights a D. I like some of the individual parts, but the sum is actually lesser than its parts. Usually I'd wear the scent that I'm reviewing on me as I'm reviewing it, but not today. I just, I couldn't face up to wearing it again. I, ugh, I did not want to do it. Before I review anything, I wear it bare minimum three times throughout the entire day to see is it just a one-time thing that I enjoyed it? Was it only really good in one environment? Maybe my mood is different on a different day. Maybe it's gonna strike me differently. So I try to give everything a fair chance. And all of those times that I tried to wear Fancy Nights, it was just a failure. When I stopped wearing it on my body, I had to find some sort of way to use up the rest of this huge bottle. So I even tried to use it as a poo-pourri and no joke, I got the following feedback. I'd rather just smell the poop. It's kind of hard to bounce back from someone saying that they'd rather smell poo. So today I'm just using a blotter card. Whew. And I can smell it from down on the table. I just don't, I, mm, no, this one's not for me. As far as longevity goes, I'm going to give Fancy Nights a B. It hangs around basically forever in the air, and it lasts about four to six hours on skin with good projection. Yay! And as far as projection goes, I'm going to give Fancy Nights a B. It fills an entire room, whether you want it to or not. The performance is good. But what is that worth when the sense that's being thrown off is this discordant, screechy mess? So overall, I'm going to give Fancy Nights a D. It was an interesting idea, but I feel like it was better left on paper as a thought experiment than, you know, up my nose as a Frankenstein's monster of sorts. Closing thoughts. Would I buy this again? No, <laughs> no, never. I am gonna give this one away. I still have like a good third of the bottle left. There is nothing that I can use it for. I've even been called out just trying to flush it. If you want it, tell me. I will, I will just give it to you. Why, do you want this? I don't want this. Why would you want this? Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I love you. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I did not enjoy this one. And uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, uh, if you'd like, 
let me know if you want the remainder of this bottle, and when you're done with this video, feel free to check out Chrissy J, her channel, and her video for Fancy Nights. But until next time, I will see you later. in the hell is going on out there? Is that a huge ass bee? God damn it. What are they f doing? I do also get something that smells. Oh, good God.